Hi, my name is Jens. Sometimes when you are dead baiting for pike or other predators, you need to get really far out to get where the fish are. And in those cases, a bait boat like this is really a great help. Uh, in fact, it would be impossible to fish those places without it. Let me show you how it's used on a normal dead bait session. Beautiful fish here on the dead bait. Delivered a hard fight. What a fish. First, you must start connecting the battery. Because when you're storing it, it's, you must disconnect it so it doesn't discharge the battery. I always use the Rebel Cell batteries. It's a lithium ion battery, so it uh, will last much longer than an uh, ordinary battery. Uh, approximately five times uh, longer, so it saves you a lot of weight when you're going on long, long session. So it's very reliable. Connect the battery, and then we are almost ready to sail the baits out. You must uh, put the lid on again, and as you can see here, it's got a a rubber edge so it's a waterproof when sailing out. Next step is to uh, put the power on the steering control on the console and then you switch on the bait boat and you're ready to load the bait. So now I'm ready to put the bait in the bait boat so I open the, the drop door here by doing like this, it falls out then I can put the bait in. I take it from underneath, up a lid on the edge. I take the lid also up. Then I have to close, close the door again. Do it the same way. Put the bait back. Make sure the lid is not curling up. Down the drop door, and I'm ready to sail out. Often I, often I cut a bit of small fish pieces. Here's a herring into small pieces, so I can uh, create an attractive smell around the bait without risking to fill up the pipe with too much food. So I just very small pieces here. Then I add a my small fish pieces here so they can fall just nicely just around the bait perfectly positioned that would be impossible on the long range without this bait boat see a mackerel in the bait boat and note uh, it's very important that uh, the, the, the way you put the, the trace that it does not go around the, the screws you have up here so uh, and you can actually use some of, some of the loose uh, bait you have to uh, to pin down the, the the wire so it doesn't get tangled up in, in anything so when the um, when the door opens it, it falls completely free down to the spot where you're going to fish without tangles. So now I'm ready. The bait boat also gave you a perfect possibility for uh, using a fishy ground bait to create a very attractive uh, scent around the bait. Inside the navigator there's a transducer inbuilt so I can while I'm sailing out, I can check the depth. So I'm positioning the bait exactly the right place. So um, let's see how it works. Right now you cannot see anything because it's, uh, the boat is on 10 centimeters of water. But now we will sail it out and drop the bait on the perfect spot. So when I'm sailing the bait out, I let the line out uh, with the spool open and then just put the finger on the spool edge to control the tension, the counter tension on the line. So you don't get a too, too big a bow on the line. So it's, you have good line control to your bait. Now I'm ready to sail the bait out, so I push this small tab here and the boat sails out to the spot with perfect control on what's happening and positioning the bait exactly the right spot. So what you can see now is that the bait boat is uh, over 2 meters of depth, that's uh, where I want to put my bait, it's just over a small ledge um, and you can see the bait boat is out there. And here you can see how it works when you drop the bait perfectly positioned on the right spot. So now we're getting closer and ready to launch another bait into the perfect spot. Waiting, 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 waiting. If you have a bait that is just a little bit to go out uh, through the holes, 
the boat you just balance it on the end of the boat with the lead uh, and with the rig in a position so it won't tangle and then you just sail it out on a slack line and uh, give it a short pull it will fall over the edge and into the perfect uh, position but this is only possible to do when the weather is good when there's not too much wind and waves and too much drag in the line